Welcome to Live a Life. When Samsung announced the Galaxy S21 series, every phone in the lineup features the new Dynamic AMOLED 2X display, which is nearly identical to last year's S20, but this time with an adaptive refresh rate. Samsung claimed that the display on the S21 and the S21 Plus has dynamic refresh rate that allows the refresh rate of the phone displays to hover between 48 to 120 Hz. And on the S21 Ultra, things get even better with the refresh rate that can be switched between 10 to 120 Hz. So basically, the phone optimizes itself when you do not need that extra frame for smoother feel. There's no need for unnecessary power consumption to process that. Basically, the screen only refreshes at the refresh rate needed for that particular task. For instance, watching 24 frames movies, 30 frames YouTube videos, and 60 plus frames while gaming. So if you're just looking at static frame on display, it should be refreshing at the lowest refresh rate possible, which would really help improve the battery life a lot. But from using the S21s for a couple weeks, the difference regarding battery optimizations from the S20s is very minimal. At the end of the day, it's just a couple of percent battery differences, which I thought would be a lot better on the S21. I got curious and wanted to test whether the adaptive refresh rate is really a real deal. So we go ahead and test it out with the most simple method we could think of, the slow-mo. If the phone really does refresh at a very low refresh rate, it would simply be able to capture it under 240 frames slow-mo, which is about 8 times slower than the human eye can perceive. But as you can see, it doesn't look like it's refreshing at a low refresh rate. It looks as normal as any other phone. So we took it up a notch and shot it with the 960 frames. Things look slower, but it still doesn't look like a 10 hertz. Then later, we found out that you can turn on the refresh rate counter, which is built into the system. First, enable the developer option. Scroll down to show refresh rate. Turn it on, and there you go on the top left corner. And we try every possible activity on the phone that we thought the phone would display things at 10 Hz. On the home screen, the display will refresh at 120 Hz whenever you touch it. But if you leave it for 3 seconds, the refresh rate will be turned down to 60 Hz. But as soon as you touch it, it instantly switches back to 120 Hz to give you that smooth scrolling experience. Things are pretty much the same between the S21 and the S21 Ultra. For scrolling, the display refreshes at 120 Hz everywhere, either scrolling through a web page, home screen, or any apps. It's at 120 Hz, and if you don't touch it for 3 seconds, it goes back to 60, just like the home screen. So essentially, the refresh rate goes up whenever you touch the phone. When looking at static things like photo, things remain the same, just like looking at home screen and scrolling. 60 Hz when you leave it, and 120 Hz when you touch it. When watching video is where things get interesting. The phones refresh at 60 Hz steadily when displaying either 30 frames or 60 frames content. But for 24p content, things change. Both phones refresh at 48 Hz, which is double the frame rate of the actual content, which is the lowest refresh rate that the S21 can go. For games that support 120 Hz, the display refresh at 120 Hz, but for games that doesn't, the display does refresh at 60 frames steadily. In Call of Duty, even if you turn on the high frame rate mode, with everything maxed out, the display still refresh at 60 frames. For PUBG, the screen refreshes at 120Hz all the way no matter what setting you're on. Even though it looks real stutter, the refresh rate is at 120Hz. Now, to the thing that really bugs me the most, the always on display. I'll expect the phone's display to refresh at the lowest possible refresh rate when the always on display kicks in. 
but it's still the same story. Both phones refresh at 60 hertz steadily when displaying an always-on display. This means the phone still refreshes at 60 hertz, even if it's just in your pocket. So, from what we have tested, there is not a single scenario that would dip the refresh rate of the phone to the lowest refresh rate that Samsung claimed on the S21 Ultra. We only see the lowest of 48 instead of a 10 in S21 Ultra, while the S21 can do as it claimed at 48 to 120 hertz, which is not bad if you look back at last year's S20 because when we set the motion smoothness to high, the display refreshes at the constant 120 hertz no matter what you're doing. It doesn't dip down at all. Not even watching 24, 30, or 60 frames video. Not even looking at a static screen. Not even on an always on display. It is 120 hertz all the way. So for me, I think it's the software optimization that does not allow the Ultra to display at the lower frame rate. I believe the hardware of the S21 could potentially refresh at 10 and 48 hertz just like Samsung claimed, but the software wasn't designed or not ready to do it just yet. So let's hope Samsung enables this feature real soon, which I think would really improve the battery life on the S21 Ultra by a margin. That's it for now. Let me hear what you guys think or if any one of you could think of any activity that will make the phone display at 10 hertz. Comment down below and don't forget to sub for more content in the future. See you guys next time. Stay safe.